Moving on, the well-known Russian passion for drinking vodka is touching new heights. Statistics suggest that this year is the drunkest that Russia has been in a decade. Last year, people aged 15 and older bought 8 litres of pure alcohol per head. That's a rate not recorded since 2015. What's more, 60% of what Russians drink is hard alcohol like vodka and cognac. In the UK, that figure is less than 10%. Vodka maker Ladoga sold 40% more hard alcohol in the first five months of this year than the same period last year. Boozing definitely is on the rise in Russia. But what is fueling this rise? Ironically, the country where tippling is an art form is ruled by a president who is rarely seen taking more than a sip of champagne. Putin is also the man who started raising alcohol taxes a decade ago as part of efforts to reverse population decline. But in recent years, Putin's tax increases have not kept up with inflation or wartime economic growth. As workers are hired to make tanks and artillery shells for the Ukraine war effort, lower class incomes are increasing. More drinkers are leaving the cheaper stuff like moonshine and turning to store-bought vodka. Also, as wages rise, vodka becomes even more affordable. A 0.7-litre bottle costs less than $6.32. Analysts say another reason for the rise is also due to psychological tension of the war in Ukraine. The growing disillusionment with the war in Ukraine has become a lethal motivation to drink. Reports say that after the invasion of Ukraine, even Kremlin officials have taken to the bottle and some don't want to stop. But alcohol has been one of Russia's greatest killers. It has kept male life expectancy at only 67 years, which is among the lowest in the world. The current rise in drinking reverses the decline that Russia has been seeing for a decade, when it reached a low of 7 litres per head in 2017. But since then, weaker alcohol policies, the pandemic and now the war in Ukraine have all contributed to the rising sales. For latest news, download the VON app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.